Hey Clashers, it's Bagel here. Um, I wanted to introduce you guys to a tool that was shared with me a couple weeks ago. Um, and it's just been an absolute godsend to my stream. It's been amazing. I cannot even explain to you how much I love it. Um, so a couple weeks ago, I had the opportunity to stream for Coastal Clash. And while I was streaming, one of the co-leaders was like, hey Bagel, why aren't you using Minion Bot? You won't have to update your stats all the time. Like, what's minion bot turns out he's actually the developer of it his name is devil um he kind of shared just everything with me uh doesn't want anything he was just like uh all i ask is that you shout it out so i thought what better way to shout it out than to make a tutorial video on how to set it up for all the other cwl streamers so i'm gonna do that with you guys today and i just i can't even explain i can't put into words how much it has improved my streaming experience um, before in the wars, I never really kept track of 9v9s, uh, just because there were so many of them and I hated updating my stats after every single attack. Um, I never really kept track of 10v10 attempts, because uh, again, there were so many. I hated coming into the middle of a stream and not having the stats or trying to figure out while I was streaming what the stats actually were. Uh, so this bot will actually take care of everything. And it's what it does is it goes into the Clash of Clans API itself and takes the stats from there. Uh, the bot itself updates every two minutes, but the site that you're pulling from updates every eight minutes. So there will be a little bit of delay in the stats updates. It's not immediate every single time, but it's enough where you won't have to worry about it and you can focus on the war you're streaming or the attacks that you're calling out. So let's look into it here. I'm going to put a link in the description of the video right here, and it's going to bring you straight to this website. It's a GitHub site. Um, it's where the minion bot itself is located. What we're going to do over here on clone or download, we're going to download the zip. I'm going to download this straight to the desktop over here. So let me pull that over from the other screen. Here it is, it's a zip file. So we're gonna have to go in and extract first. And again, I'm just gonna extract it to the desktop right here and let's click on it. So the first thing you're gonna do is click on this link right here. It's called Twitch Overlay. It has a little purple Twitch symbol right next to it. You can't miss it. So we'll click on that. It'll bring up two windows. One of them is the documents window where the files are located. The other is this black window. So this is the actual bot. This is what's going to be running behind your stream uh, while you're doing everything. The first thing we have to do is enter a clan tag. So I'm just going to enter mind. It doesn't have to be caps lock. Um, either way is okay. I've run both ways. Uh, one second. G C Q R Y. Holla back. Reddit Elefino. All right. What you're going to do now is save. After that, we'll close that. And the next thing we need is the Clash API token. So what you're going to do is you're going to go over here to developer.clashofclans.com. And it'll bring you to this website. I've already created an account, um, but you're going to have to create an account. You just register. Um, you will need your IP address for this. So I will put another link in the description of the video so that you can find your IP address very easily. Um, so when you go in here to my account, you have to create a new key and it'll ask you for your uh, IP address. Um, I've already made one minion bot tutorial thing, but <laughs> um, I don't want to show you my IP address because I don't want to get DDoSed possibly. I don't think you will do that, but just to be safe. So I have that on copy. We're just gonna open this and paste it. It is an obnoxiously long little token. So again, just paste that in there and close it. All right, so then the next thing we're gonna do over here is we're gonna restart the Twitch overlay. So back out of that and open this. And there, so it'll update my attacks and defenses. Okay, and it also tells you what today is, what time it is, just very easy. So I'm gonna do my best to show you kind of how to set this up. Uh, sorry for what this is gonna look like. I don't have it on my overlay right now because I am trying to show you guys kind of my screen. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into this add part and you'll take, you'll do the text one. So as you can see, I've got all of my little stats set up. 
but I'm just gonna call this one 99 tutorial. What tutorial? All right, so we're gonna go in there, and what we need to do now is we need to set it as read from file. Okay, so then we're gonna go into here and browse. Whoa, we're gonna go to my desktop. There's all of my all my stuff over there, and click on this. We're, it's in the documents, the output file right here, output. And this is where all of the stats files goes. So you do actually have to set up a separate uh, little thing for each number you're gonna have. So I said 9v9. There are a lot of 9v9s, but it is actually 9v9-3. It gets a little bit self-explanatory after. So 9v9-3, you can see that's a zero right there. I'm gonna make this like really big. We're gonna make that like that. And we're also going to make the color. Where is the color? I can't even do this normal stuff. Is it in here? I don't, I don't even know you guys. What is this normal thing? Oh, right here, color. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna make this like a big blue so it's easy to see. All right, so there's my zero right here. Oh, that's not easy to see at all. I'll make it white again. I'm sorry, you guys. I am so sorry. I wasn't ready for this. White. There, okay, that's very easy to read. So that's my 9v9 right there. The next thing we're gonna do is add another text. 9v9 tries. Oh, tutorial, tutorial. Okay, so again, we're gonna go in here to read from file, browse, and right here, 9v9 tries. So these are both stats. Whoops, I need to make that a lot bigger. So these are both stats for my own clan. And you can go in there. I, depending on how your overlay is set up, you can also make a text for the uh, little slash that goes in between those numbers. Uh, but the next one is going to be, I'm gonna add another one, text. And this one is gonna be enemy 99 tutorial. Okay, I didn't spell that right, sue me. All right, so we're gonna go in here and browse again. And for the enemy clan, what you're gonna do is 9v93e. So that should be from the enemy clan right there. Uh, like that. And that's another number. Unfortunately, we don't have a war going on right now. Um, who has a war right now? Let's see, let's see. I can see if I can update it. But uh, those are the numbers. You just put that on your Twitch overlay. And that's basically all you have to do. You just have to go in for every single one on, um, what is it called? On your side, your tries for out of like two out of nine, 10 v 10s or whatever. And you'll have to do that for both sides, your side and the enemy. But after you do that, if you are warring a different clan, all you have to do, again, we're gonna move this over here. If you are warring a different clan, you just come in here, to your documents page and you change the clan tag to something else. Let me find another clan that might possibly be warring, might not be warring at the same time uh, in here. So I'm gonna update it to P2 GGR GUC. And that'll bring up another war, or whichever clan for that war. It's very, very simple to set up. Um, they're not warring either, but it'll be very easy to tell if they are because the attacks and the defenses will change. It's just a very easy tool to use. So once you do have the initial setup, you don't have to change it ever again. Uh, and if you do want to change the stats to a different war, again, all you do is go in here, the clan tag and you change it. Uh, simple as that. So I hope you guys get a good use out of this. Um, again, big shout out to Dev Devil from Coastal Clash for setting this all up. There is a Discord version that he said he was working on, but 
Um, I'm not sure how far along it is. Hopefully it's going to be something good in the future, but this is all I can say. It's amazing. I absolutely love it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you also get a good use out of this bot as well. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, yeah, basically just let me know or ask Devil from Coastal Clash. Uh, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.